welcome class 12th today we are entering in the world of metallurgy and here our next chapter is general principles and processes of isolation of elements so let's start here we will start with some general points first is minerals they are naturally occurring chemical substances in the earth crust obtainable by mining next is ores those minerals from where metal can be extracted economically are known as ores now come to the next gang gang are the impurities they are the ores contain some undesired materials that are known as gangs so me gang means impurity which are present in ores now come to the next metallurgy metallurgy is the entire scientific and technological process used for isolation of the metal from its ore that is known as metallurgy so we will start with this term metallurgy here metallurgy as we know that metallurgy is a process for the isolation of metals from their ore it is a scientific or a technological process so basically the metallurgy of a metal involves three step for the isolation of a pure metal so the first step is concentration of ore firstly we concentrate the ore and the concentration of ore means the removal of impurities from the ore come to the second process second is isolation of metals from the concentrated ore as in the first step we have concentrate our ore so from the concentrated ore in second step we will isolate our metal now the third process is purification of metal as the from the second step metal is get isolated then now turn for the purification of metal so the last process of metallurgy is the purification of metal so here we will start with our first process that is concentration of ores concentration of ores can be done by using four steps and the four processes are one is hydraulic washing another second is magnetic separation froth flotation method and leaching so here we will start with hydraulic washing first hydraulic washing it is based on the differences of gravities or densities of ore and gang gang particles this separation is a type of gravity separation and the process of hydraulic washing is in this process an upward stream of running water is used to wash powdered ore and when we are using our concentration of ore we have to keep in mind that the ore should be in powdered form the ore that we are using for the concentration of ore that should be in a powdered form and as the upward running stream of water is pass through the powder ore then the light gang particles are washed away and the heavier ores are left behind this can be seen in the image also here <clears throat> this is the water running water stream and this is the this is our powder ore and as the powdered ore is passed through a running stream running stream of water then what will happen the ore particle as they will be heavier they will get settled down by the gravity separation they will get settled down but the impurities will get wash away from the ore particles isme hoga kya kyunki gravity separation technique lag rahi hai to due to the help of gravity or due to the help of with the help of density as the ore particles are heavier or they are denser than the gang particle to wo particles to niche settle ho jayenge वो हेवियर होंगे वो नीचे सेटल हो जाएंगे और गैंग पार्टिकल्स लाइटर होंगे तो वो जो हमने जो रनिंग स्टीम वाटर की दी हुई है उसके साथ वो बाहर आके उस ओर से बाहर निकल जाएंगे और इस फॉर्म में हमें कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ओर मिल जाएगी जिसमें इंप्योरिटीज प्रेजेंट नहीं होगी सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट हाइड्रोलिक वॉशिंग नेक्स्ट इज मैग्नेटिक सेपरेशन दिस मैथड इज बेस्ड ऑन द मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ or and a gang particles now if either of the ore or the gang which one is capable of being attracted by a magnetic field 
gets separated through the magnetic roller so this can be seen in the image as we will add our magnetic our ore our powdered ore from here and it will move in a magnetic roller the powdered ore will be will move in a magnetic roller and the ore or the gang particle either of ore or the gang particle which one is capable of being attracted by the magnetic field it will get separated to this to this magnetic particle weaker and the other particle which are not non magnetic in nature they will be separate they will get separated in other weaker so this can be done this magnetic separation can be done when the ore and the gang particle have some magnetic properties so suppose if i have a ore of iron if i have a ore of iron if i have fe2o3 then what will happen if i have a ore of iron that is fe2o3 and i will pour this ore into the side of into here into this magnet upon this magnetic roller then what will happen the iron part since iron is attracted by the magnetic field by the magnet so this iron part will get collected in the magnetic in, in this beaker which have magnetic particles and the non non magnetic particle the this iron ore will have some impurities and that impurities will be will get in the different beaker so this is the magnetic separation of the ores come to next froth flotation method this method is used for removing gang from sulfite ores it means this method is particular for the i concentration of sulfide ores only and it is based on the difference of wettability of ore and the gang particles in this method some collectors are used and the collectors they are they are used since they enhance the non wettability of the mineral particles and the collector which are used in froth flotation method pine oils fatty acids genthrates etc similarly froth stabilizers are also added and they are used to stabilize the froth and the froth stabilizers which are added they they can be crisols aniline etc procedure of this method before coming to the procedure of this method let's see a story behind this method this method was discovered by a story and the story of a washer woman of a washer woman a washer woman woman was there and she used to wash the clothes of some miners and one day she noticed that as she was wash, washing the clothes of the miners and she she noticed that the sand or the dirt particles of the clothes fell to the bottom of the wash tub they get fell to the bottom of the wash tub but at the same time some copper wearing substances which are present in the clothes of the miner they come on the upper face they they come to the clothes with in the form of the froth they come with froth on the above uh, upper side of the tub now what she she then called the same thing with his with her client and the her client was a scientist and she was mrs carry everson and she told all the whole story to 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 her client and from here this method is discovered from that incident and the process of this method is based on the same process in which the impurities will get settled down in the tub and the metal which we have to concentrate that will come with the help of froth that will come out with the help of froth now let's see the process in this process a suspension of a powder door is made with water um, the mineral particles come wet by the oil since we are using collector here so the mineral particles will get wet by the these collector or the oil while the gang particle will will wet by the water which is present and since oil is used should be less dense than water the oil which are using here that should be very less dense than water so this can be seen in the image here also as we add from this side as we add our pulp of ore and oil the ore will get wet with the oil 
and the impurities which is present in that oil which which will be get wet with the water which is present here now what will happen as the rotating pedal is inserted and and it is stirred the froth will be formed and we have also added the froth stabilizer here so the froth will be stabilized so as the froth forms the particles the impurities or the gang particles will settle down and the ore particle will come out with with the help of froth they will come out with froth so this is all about froth flotation method now here sometimes if we have a mixture of two sulfide ores and we have to separate those two sulfide ores from each other so we use depressant here and the depressant is used for the separation of two sulfide ores for example for a mixture of pbs lead sulfide and zinc sulfide the depressant used is known as nacn and what happens as we added depressant to the sulfide ores of lead and zinc then what happen the sulfide ore of lead pbs galena that on reaction with on combining with nacn it will not give any reaction the reaction will not form but at the same time the zinc blend zns as it combines with nacn it forms a complex it forms a complex and this complex is wetted with water and will not form froth with the oil so it will get settled down in the surface so that this complex of zinc will get settled down as it as it get wetted with the water it will get settled down it will not come with froth so the lead and the lead pbs and the lead sulfide ore will come with the froth so this is the method of separation of two sulfide ores next process is leaching it is the chemical treatment of ore with suitable solvent to remove impurities this method is used when metal ores are more soluble in some suitable solvent ये मेथड लीचिंग हम तब यूज करेंगे जब हमें कोई केमिकल ट्रीटमेंट करना होगा और केमिकल ट्रीटमेंट भी और पे तब करेंगे जब वो किसी सुटेबल सॉल्वेंट में सॉल्यूबल होंगे एंड ये जो मेथड होता है ये बेसिकली यूज होता है फॉर द फॉर सॉल्यूबल मेटल ओर्स फॉर विच आर सॉल्यूबल इन सम सुटेबल सॉल्वेंट नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन लीचिंग द लीचिंग ऑफ एल्यूमिना फ्रॉम बॉक्साइड सिंस बॉक्साइड इज अर ऑफ एल्यूमिना bauxite usually consists some impurities and the impurities are silica iron oxide titanium oxide so to remove this impurities from bauxite we use leaching here in bauxite in this bauxite is treated with concentrated naos solution the ore of aluminium bauxite is treated with concentrated naos solution now this way al2o3 alumina is leached out as sodium aluminate leaving the impurities behind now let's see the reaction this bauxite ore al2o3 will get treated with concentrated naoh plus water it will get a complex of sodium aluminate here this is sodium tetrahydroxy aluminate and as the complex is formed then the this sodium aluminate this sodium tetrahydroxy aluminate in the solution is neutralized by passing co2 gas and hydrated al2o3 is get precipitated and as this sodium aluminate or sodium tetrahydroxy aluminate is passes with co2 gas it will form al2o3 dot xh2 plus nacho3 now the hydrated al2o3 is then further filtered dried and heated to get to give back pure alumina so as we heated this hydrated alumina over 1470 kelvin we will get pure alumina which do not have any impurities and the removal of xh2o will be from here as the hydrated form on heating they will get in dehydrated form so this is the leaching of alumina from the bauxite ore now come to the next leaching of silver and gold silver and gold can also be leached by the same process in this in this the respective metal like silver 
gold or silver is least with dilute solution of NaCN or KCN in the presence of air. So the reaction involved in this are first is the metal either gold or the silver. It combines with cyanide ion, cyanide ion from sodium cyanide or it can be from potassium cyanide plus water plus oxygen in the presence of oxygen they will form a complex air and further this complex is then treated with zinc metal then this complex form that is treated with zinc metal and the zinc will replace the metal here this zinc is replaced the metal here and we will get the pure form of silver or the gold with having no impurities so pure concentrated form of the gold and silver which has no impurities so here the role of zinc metal is this zinc metal act as a reducing agent why since zinc being more reactive it displaces silver or the gold from the solution so this is all about the leaching of silver and gold and all about the concentration of ore or the processes of the concentration of ore now it's question and answer time the question is what is the significance of leaching in the extraction of aluminium so the significance of leaching in the extraction of alumina from bauxite ore as we know that alumina can be leached by the by its ore that is bauxite ore is to remove the impurities from the ore as we know that bauxite ore contains many impurities like silica iron oxide titanium oxide so to remove such impurities we have to leach bauxite ore to get pure alumina in the concentrated form here here is some home assignment for you do these questions question first what is mineral how does it differ from an ore question second question third question four and five let's do these questions and we will meet with our next topic in our next videos thank you